Oh, we're really struggling with horsepower. Come on. Duro! Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming. We are back in Donegal today. Um, now today we're going to be mowing grass. Now I know it's not long since we've had a mowing episode, but um, this is going to be slightly different. Last time we turned it into hay bales, as you can see over there. Uh, this time we're going to be renting some front mowers and some forage wagons. Now we have two tractors. We've got Billy Bob there in the Same and we're going to be driving the T6. So first of all, we need a loan. So we're going to go ahead and borrow... We're not actually in... Oh no, it's because we've got the money. Never mind. <laughs> Um, I don't know how much we're going to need. We'll just take out ten, uh, £10,000 for now. And we'll go to the uh, store. Now, I don't have any mower mods, unfortunately, for the uh, front. So we're just going to take the vanilla ones. And we'll rent two of these. Now we'll go to loading wagon. Uh, which one should we have? Probably going to be safer because of the small roads to have the Euro Boss, so we're going to get the Euro Boss. So there we have it. Now I'm going to drive over to the store and just cut this because as of late, um, the videos have took a while to even get some sort of uh, action going. It's been about five minutes before we actually start doing anything, so I'm going to drive over there and then we'll jump back. Okay everybody, so we have finally made it and this is actually take number three. of I've been trying to speak to you three times from driving from the shop to here and our follow me person at the back keeps getting stuck so I've decided we're just gonna go from here also at the end of this episode I'm gonna replace every single bush on this map with non-collision bushes because this is just ridiculous um, so yeah what field should we start off with we'll start off with field number five which is just to our left here so I'm gonna get out and open the gate like so and we'll drive in hopefully our other worker will be able to get in as well without getting stuck because he's a bit useless. And we'll plonk ourselves here. Now, what I want you to do is go like that. Right, okay, everybody. Now, I've done a dummy lap. That's why we've suddenly moved. So, I haven't mowed any grass yet. We've just done a dummy lap. Because I've never used follow me to do this before, so hopefully it all goes well. In case you're wondering and this works well and you want to do it yourself. Uh, he's 3 metres to the right and he's behind 20 metres. Behind distance can obviously vary, but I want to give him I want him to give us enough room around the corners. Now we actually have to do this ourselves. Hopefully he has enough horsepower. The Sammy's usually pretty good for stuff like this, actually. I think we're going to have more trouble with the T6, if I'm honest. There we go. And let's start mowing. Okay, so we're off to a start, finally. I have my head tracking on, but uh, I really need to get more screens. I'm thinking of getting a three screen setup, so I actually have to look more to go around corners and stuff. Um, let's actually go into third person and see how he's doing. Pretty good, actually. I'm very surprised. I thought this was going to go horribly wrong, but it seems to be going pretty well at the moment. We're not going to do sharp turns because I do not trust him behind us. So we're just going to go smooth around the corners and then afterwards we will uh, just do the corners ourselves. Now I've been thinking about how I'm going to unload. Am I going to do both of them together or am I going to drive each tractor separately? And I've gone with the drive each tractor separately. Um... So yeah, once the trailers are full, I'm going to drive them one by one by myself because I do not trust him going through the little lanes again until I replace the bushes, which I am definitely going to be doing, by the way. I have these bush models with no collisions that I'm using on the map that I'm making, so I'm just going to replace all of these with non-collision bushes. Okay, we're going to come into this lane. Forge Dragon's not picked up that bit, which is a bit annoying. It's because we're... That's the only problem with doing this. We need to go out wider for the trailer to actually pick stuff up. Uh, so what we're actually going to do is lengths. Uh, we, he can't do anything with his mower, that's the problem. Like, he can't lift it around corners or anything. Whatever. We'll just do lengths now. 
So it looks like we're going to be doing the corners ourselves as well. Can't actually look back and see him either. Okay, let's just drive forward. I'm not going to bother picking up the implement like we would in real life because he can't do it anyway. He literally only follows our directions, not what we're doing. And we're going for our next length. So if you are new to the channel, um, this is my favourite thing to do in farm sim. Mowing, ironically. A lot, a lot of people hate it, but I really actually generally like it. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. I've never actually done this method before. I usually get followed by a forager wagon and then we cover more space uh, in one go but this works too what we're on now we're only on 37 percent so we may actually have to go straight into field number four after this to even fill our trailers up now i know there's probably a bit hardcore farm fans out there that uh say this isn't realistic this doesn't really get done in england in devon where i'm from they do do this but it's slightly on a smaller scale i must admit it's usually like a uh a wagon that does it. I have seen it's uh, not for turning turn into silage. Well, it is turning into silage. I'm talking crap. But it's to give to the animals, not to actually sell on. But we're going to be selling ours because we are in desperate need of money. Plus, we do need to feed our cows as well. We're also low on petrol, uh, diesel. Sorry, so I need to get that sorted as well. Hopefully, it doesn't break down during this field because that would be awkward. And we're actually picking up the corners without even realising. So that's good. Grind into this length. So we've nearly done this field already. I think we'll have. Uh, wait, let me see. So this is one. That, uh, we may have one more length after this, and then one of us will have another length, which will probably be me, to be fair, because the other guy is useless. In fact, I'm going to. On the next length, there's going to be a jump cut in a second, because I need to get a thumbnail. getting harder and harder to turn, I must admit. Okay, so I just got a couple thumbnails. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with, so... Whatever one is the thumbnail when this is uploaded, then that's the uh, image we went for, obviously. I took about five, so we'll have to pick from them in a second. But yeah, this field didn't take long at all, so we are actually going to have time to do it, uh, field number four in this episode as well. I think field number six in... Actually, you won't be able to see because my camera will be in the way. In fact, I'll just turn the camera off briefly. So, field number six there is going to take a whole episode, I think. I may even do that one off camera, if I'm honest, because I don't want to do another mowing episode in the short space of time because you guys just get bored of the content pretty easy. Now this turn is going to be awkward, so what I'm going to do is drive forward. And we're going to go to the other end, just because I don't want to j risk jackknifing the uh, forage wagon. We've just crashed into the invisible bush again. So we're definitely going to be removing that bush, because it's annoying. Where's... dude? Hello? Oh, he's behind us. He's also stuck, which is, uh, we'll get him in a second, because we only have one more length to do anyway. Struggling to get up this hill a little bit. Come on, you can do it. Okay, and we'll go through here. Okay, so we finished this field. Uh, we I've got 70% full, and he's only 56% full somehow. Actually, I need to pull forward a little bit more. Go, 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 go. There we go. Oh my god, can we go through this? Woo! We're in Harry Potter land. Right, back, 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 back. That's unrealistic. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I will quickly... F uh, 
collect the rest of this and then we'll do a time lapse of me emptying the trailers and then we'll go and do field number four so back in a second okay everybody so we are going to be taking these back to the uh, silage pit now and we're going to unload as you can probably already tell I've tucked the front mowers off both of these because it makes it easier to maneuver. So they're already waiting for us in field number four. Oh god, the Italian's here. That came from nowhere. So yeah, the mowers are waiting for us in field number four. We've already put them in field number four. So we're going to unload these and he's stuck already. Fuck. We'll leave the Sammy there. I'll get him in a minute. We'll do one at a time. So uh, here we are. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. It's a shame he got stuck. Okay, let's see if we can reverse this with the trailer on the back. I'm actually a bit too close. There we go. I did play a bit of American Truck Simulator last night, so I'm fresh with the trailer reversing skills right now. And I, as I said that, I crashed. Let's try it again. Here we go. Back it up, swing it in. It's a lot actually harder doing it with this view. What the hell is going on here? Where's the center of my wheel? I really need to get force feedback working on this wheel. Okay, so here we are. We're going to unload here. Whilst he does that, I'll get the Sammy. And we'll go back to... Oh. Hello. What the hell is going on here? Okay, everybody. So we are back at the fields now. We've unloaded. And we're going to go ahead... Uh, <laughs> We're going to go ahead and collect our mowers again. So here they are. Let's just get a bit closer. That was too close. And we'll attach these. PTO shaft. Now where is the Sammy? Oh, you made it. I'm surprised. I thought he was going to get stuck. Okay, so we are ready to go again. We've got the Sammy in our mirror there. I don't know if you can see it on camera. So we'll go ahead and lower the forage wagon. Turn it on. Now we'll turn the mower on, lower that, and I forgot to do it in the Sammy, so we'll quickly flip through to the Sammy. Here he is, do the same for him. So he should be following us now. Um, so how many headlands should we do? Headlands were bad last time, so we did three. Let's see if I can get away with doing two, because they were annoying last time, but we'll see. In fact, I think three headlands may be... May be a bit too much in this field because it's only small. That'll be like half the field done. Oh, we're really struggling with horsepower. Come on, Duro! And it's all downhill from here. Oh my god, that's too fast. Like a roller coaster, this farm. Now, we are going to be missing all the corners, don't forget, because I need to go over them at the end, because that's the way the forage wagons work. Now, where is the line I'm meant to be hitting? Here it is. So we're going to do two headlands this time. And now we're going to our lengths. Oh, I didn't really... Oh. Okay, I had a little bit of a brain fart. We're technically doing four headlands like this, aren't we? And these are the corner bits. Of well, you've already seen the last field anyway, so... Doesn't matter, but... And again, go! <sighs> go! I'm not gonna make it! But we made it. Okay, so we're gonna start our lengths now. Oh god, I can't see a thing. I need to clean the tractor. So, we'll do what we did last time. We'll do lengths now and we'll collect the grass around the outsides at the end. What do we just hit then? I do have no idea. Okay, so we'll start our legs. Should take too long at all, and I've just pushed my pedals away because I'm a genius. There we go. Oh no, we're never going to make it. I've got all four-wheel drive and diff locks on. So hopefully we'll get up to the top of here with no trouble. And back down again. I 
In okay, case you're wondering why we're doing lengths on the opposite end of the field every time, so that's just to stop ourselves from jackknifing, basically. I could probably do it myself, like reverse and do the next line, but I do not trust the tractor behind us. In fact, I'm pretty sure follow me doesn't actually reverse anyway. Hopefully in the future it will. In fact, they may do now, I've just never seen it reverse. Now here, this is way too ever, uh, not steep, what's the word, sharp turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to go this way. If we can get up the hill, that is. In fact, I do not like the look of this. <laughs> collect this. This is also a good way to collect some of the stuff we've missed. Eventually. Come on! Good job we're in uh, New Holland. If we were in a Massey right now, the engine would have gone pop. Because Masseys aren't very good with uh, pressure, unfortunately. In real life, that is. Not in the game. I don't think the game's that realistic. Oh, you missed some, Sammy! Jeez. Oh, he should have done that last little bit. So we shouldn't have any more rows to... D oh, I'm not going to make it. not going to make it. Ugh. Balls. You're doing really bad. Jeez. I'll get this bit then, yeah? I'll pay you half the amount as well, since you're doing half the job. Come on. Uh, I think that's it. It's a little bit there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, once, like we did in the last field over there, you see I'm on spotless now, I'm going to collect all the bits that the Same's missed, and we'll jump back in. Okay, everybody, so that is now done. You can see we've collected all the pieces. I keep saying pieces. We collected all the uh, grass that was on the ground. So we're going to go and try and attempt to get back to the yard. I say try because I'm a bit worried about the Sammy. He got stuck last time and the time before that and the time before that. So hopefully he'll get there. I'm just going to floor it. This is what you need for this road. Speed. Slow and steady does not win the race. He didn't even get out of the field. He generally did not even get out of the field. Speed and power. Ready? Yes. He got stuck in the exact same piece as last time. Why is it only the Sammy that gets stuck? Okay. Told you, speed and power wins. He is behind us, but there's no way to see him. Oh, there he is in our mirror. Um... What's the best way to go with him? I'll try and take him this way. Not sure whether it's going to work, but... Whatever. We'll try and take him this way. He seems to be following us so far. Looking on the map. You guys can't see the map because my camera's going to be there, but... He's still behind us. Nice wide berth here. As if we're driving a ship. I don't know why I said berth. Okay, so we'll wait here. Did he make it? That's the question. Oh my gosh. It's a bloody miracle. Right, you can wait there though because I need to reverse this then. Hopefully we do a better job than last time. Right, here we go. Oh, close. There we go. It's really weird um, reversing something and not having the steering wheel try and fight back like it does in real life. Because it always tries to center itself in real life, but whatever. Now we'll do the Sammy. Okay, everybody, so we're going to call that an episode today. I'm going to go ahead and harvest field number six off camera because it will take a whole episode to do that. And, and I don't want to put another mowing video out in a row. So the, both of those fields only filled this 8% which is absolutely useless. So I'm going to definitely need to do number six. Next video will be a taste of Donegal again, so be sure to join us. If you did enjoy this episode, slap that thumbs up button. It means a lot being a new channel. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. Comment and let me know what you think. I've been Simulate. I'll see you around.